Hello and welcome to the Virtual Cheese Awards 2024, showcasing the best of British cheese. I'm Danielle Tingey and I'm going to be moderating this session. And today we are judging Class B5, which is the creamy white crumbly cheese category. I'm joined by my two judges, Tani and Nicola, who are going to introduce themselves now, please. Tani, over to you. Hello, I'm Tani Gill. I work at Clark's Bishali Foods based in Scotland, Edinburgh. I've been involved in the British cheese industry for over 20 years now, actively involved in various judging with the World Cheese, British Cheese and Virtual Cheese Awards. I have been part of the Virtual Cheese Awards right from day one and looking forward to tasting new cheeses and meeting fellow new judges. Thank you. And Nicola? Hi, I'm Nicola Beardmore. I work for Anua Foods and I'm a full-time grader. Um, previous Dali experience and I won Young Cheesemonger of the Year back in 2018. Fabulous, thank you. Okay, so we are looking at class B5, which is the creamy white crumbly cheese. And we're gonna be looking at four different attributes yes. of this cheese. That's appearance, aroma, texture, and flavor. We're gonna be scoring them out of 10 and the highest scored cheese will go through to the category um, finals, um, category stage finals, which will be held on Tuesday, the 14th of May. So I can see you've both got those cheeses in front of you. So this is 1029. And let's start with appearance, please. It looks lovely. It's got a natural rind that you can see. Lovely. Yeah, lovely. it looks quite sort of cheddarish to me. It's got yeah. quite a a sort of bit of a darker colour than your like your traditional crumbly is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that rind's really pretty. Got a lot of uh, a lot of marbling and mould going on there, which is lovely. Also on the pate, you can see that colour variation of lights and darks. So almost a different curd on it. I mean, appearance-wise, it looks lovely. It looks good. Can't really fault it. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. no, I, I completely agree. It's, it's, it's a really appealing-looking piece of cheese. So what's the score then for appearance, please? 10. Yeah. Okay. And what about the aroma? Very lot of fresh and kind of fruity. I'm also getting a little bit of earthiness in there as well. Almost. Still quite delicate though. Yeah, there is uh, there is it is definitely quite subtle. Okay, mm -hmm. what about the score? Pretty when you break delicate. open the face though, there is a lot more a lot more freshness in there. Yeah. I'd go for a seven. I'd go with that, yeah. Okay. And then, then let's have a look at texture, please. It'll break very really easily, nice. It says crumbly, but when I'm cutting, it is actually cutting quite smoothly. I'm not getting a lot sort of like left on the board or anything like that. Yeah. There's a lot of softness to it. Even when you just give a wee squeeze, it almost becomes into a paste. A lot of softness in it. It's from the creamy nature of the buttriness of it. It is very crumbly in the mouth, though. The mm. mouth feels like that. Creamy white crumbly <laughs> is the cheese, so yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm assuming texture wise, probably another eight or a nine, or I'd I'd go for an eight on that one. Yeah. Okay. And tell me how it tastes. What flavors are you getting? Kind of, kind of fresh, lemony. 
zesty kind of yeah there's a real zing to that one curly curly kind of um quite plain on the finish though there's no kind of after you know there is that citrus I think um, I think for what it is, a white, crumbly, creamy cheese texture, appearance, flavor-wise, I think another eight or. And now I'd, I'd happily go for an eight on that. Yeah. Okay. So it's fresh, zesty, lemony flavor with yeah. a clean taste. Yeah. Clean. It's clean on the finish, so you don't really feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Just sort of dissipates. Lovely. Okay, right. Let's submit those scores. So we've gone for a 10 for appearance. We've gone for a 7 for aroma, an 8 on texture, and another 8 on flavour, which gives us a total score out of 45 of 37. So good, strong cheese. So that's going to be our class winner. So that is cheese number 1029 with an overall score of 37. And let's just have a, a recap on the judges' comments there. It looks quite cheddary, but it's got a pretty lovely rind and a blend of colours. Really appealing looking piece of cheese. It smells fresh and fruity. There's an earthiness to it and a delicate, subtle smell. Cut smoothly. There's lots of softness to it and the crumbly element comes through when you're actually eating the cheese. And in terms of its flavor, it's fresh, it's zesty, it's lemony, and it's got a very clean taste. Yeah. We're happy with that? Yeah. Okay, well that concludes the judging of class B5, the creamery white and crumbly cheese. Um, a big thank you to Butler's Farmhouse Cheese, cheeses for sponsoring our aprons and to Peter's Yard for providing us with their delicious sourdough crackers that I'm told smell amazing and taste amazing too. Um, thank you very much judges for your hard work and for all your comments and scoring. Um, just like to remind everybody that the category finals are on Tuesday the 14th of May and the grand final is on Wednesday the 15th of May, revealing the best British cheeses along with the awards that recognise the talented and passionate people in our industry. And the day is, is going to culminate with the award for our supreme champion of 2024. Thank you again, judges, for your time, and we will see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.